So, uh, based on the title, you realize that I've made my own custom Pathfinder character sheet. Now, this is not it. This is the official. So, uh, this is the vanilla. And I wanted to show it, you it first to give you an example of what mine uh, is about when I show it to you. But here on the original, you have your strength and all that, your HP, speed, skills. Now, uh, everything on the original has gone into. So you go to AC, it, it goes into everything from armor, shield, deck, size, whatever. Same with uh, Fortitude. Everything has gone into it. CMB, you know what everything is. Down here, you have your weapons. It has everything into it. Down here, conditions, modifiers, and then over here you have all your skills. Now, speed, all, everything. Information. And this is what the vanilla looks like. AC items, so armor, things like that. Your spells, gear, total weight, money, experience special abilities and feats now I like the original character sheet it serves its purpose very well and that's what we've used for years and I also like the uh, Pathfinder 13 page portfolios for your characters but they're a little much for some people but I do like them um, the sheet that I made is five pages and it is about the same as this but not as I won't say not as complex but it doesn't go into everything I'll show you the one I made now now that you've seen the vanilla and it will be a little different than this well, actually a lot different but very simple so this is the one that I made um, on Google Docs everything is more simplified on this so up here you have your information. I may put it in the header so it's on each page. You have your AC, your fortitude, reflex, base attack, all this. It's all here in this one area and it's bigger print so it's better to see. But I don't go into every single thing. So when you put your AC down, I don't have everything that obviously goes into it. This character sheet, I would say, is for a more experienced player. Somebody who's been playing the game for a long time and knows what everything is without looking at it. So your hit points up here. There's not really a good place for damage reduction on the other sheet, so it's up here. Big bold letters, your spell resistance, initiative, perception. I put perception up front, that way it's easier to see. Your speed and stuff's down here languages and conditional modifiers and I put in decent sized boxes on here for uh, things that you could write down special to the front of your sheet that you need to know immediately coming on down to the second page up here you got the header again now I was told that this is redundant and uh, you don't need it on every page and I agree I just uh, this is still a work in progress but this is the complete to the extent as I've got so far. Here's your skills. I have perception by itself because perception is the most used skill in Pathfinder. And that's what this is, Pathfinder. So I've got all the skills down here. Up here we've got uh, climb. I need to, oh, there it goes. So you got your little box to check everything's nice and neat on here put your total number here on the end everything mod rank and miscellaneous that's put over here so you can keep track your attacks now not everything goes into this and I like it better this way because uh, basically when I made this sheet I made it for my own personal preference now my, a lot of people might not like this a lot of people might but uh, this is this is just based on you know some people you can write your attack down here even some extra probably and you can put down everything organized the way you want it on here so everything's not split up on a 
like on the original sheet with everything together like you can put it down however you want it which I prefer and I've got five of them for whatever attacks doesn't necessarily have to be a weapon and then conditional mods for your attacking down here so like whatever you wanted to know else elsewise with your attack there's a decent size square here to put it down on Pathfinder the maximum level is 20 and the thing that has the most feats is the fighter and at 20th level the fighter gets 20 feats so on the original vanilla character sheet I find it hard to fit all your feats down like there's really not enough room for them on the vanilla sheet so over here I've got it down all the way to 20 feet and there's a good amount of space beside it to write down whatever or even split it up and uh, takes care of the problem where you don't have as much room over here the same amount of room for special abilities on the other side of course you've got your spells per day I like this chart pretty good I think it's split up nice your experience I didn't put down next level or whatever because people that's played enough that might actually like this know whatever I think that the vanilla character sheet is probably the best bet for a new player in Pathfinder but like I said I like this just for my personal preference based on me playing for a long time and knowing what's what have a uh, all your money over here I put gold first because it is the most common I put extra down here like if you got something that's not these and then items put down what you got in the amount pretty good amount of spaces for that and then all these are on a single separate sheet so that if you want a sheet for more gear like if you have more than just this now that I put potions down like I could add more to this but if you wanted more you could just print off this same page by itself you'd have more items more spaces for what have you armor and weapons extra weapons a lot of people hoard weapons and potions and other things so there's an amount there the armor I just put uh, one two three four five six six spots for whatever armor you have collected and then at the very bottom I just have additional information slots so whatever else that you th feel like you need to write down that I didn't have a spot for you can put it here and uh, this is my take on just a simple character portfolio slash character sheet you know you got this so if anybody plays Pathfinder tell me what you think of it if you have any advice for me to make it better let me know I like this pretty well I think it fits what I personally like out of a character sheet and everything that my own little intricacies and like I said this sheets more for somebody that I feel like has played the game for a while and knows more of what's going on because I left a lot of things out like your uh, CMB up here all this it doesn't tell you what goes into it if you played the game long enough to use this character sheet you know exactly how to factor AC and all that but like I said a beginner any character sheet you've got I feel like the best bet may be the vanilla version so like like for example the 13 page portfolio or whatever I would not give that to a beginner player because that's just way too much to keep track of but once you've played for a while I feel like that this may be enjoyable to you because I think it's pretty well I've had uh, people that I know personally some people are like I want to use this and I'm like a hundred percent then some people are saying uh, it's way too either simple there's not enough artwork on it or it's way too this and that you know different opinions on it and I respect that too up here a little thing 
those don't even need to be here. Yeah, this is my take on a Pathfinder character sheet. This is my first time trying to make something like this. I'll probably update it as I go. Maybe add some flair to it, but I like it. And uh, let me know what you think. If you like it, cool. If you don't, then uh, whatever. If you have any advice for me on making this any better, let me know. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it.